Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verse 25 through 37. This is the parable of the Good Samaritan. It's written, Just then a lawyer stood up to test Jesus, and he said, What must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What do you read there? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have given the right answer. Do this, and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers, who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, and he poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and I come back. I will repay whatever more you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, The one who showed him mercy. He said to him, Go and do likewise. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Christ. So, I don't really have time to get into the whole explanation, but Jews and Samaritans hated each other's guts. If they saw each other, it could lead to uh, insults being and, and swear words being thrown at each other, if not fists. They didn't mix. They didn't associate. They hated each other. I bring this up. Jesus, how can I earn salvation? You want to earn it? Yes, tell me how. Okay. A guy is mugged and left for dead, beaten to a pulp. A priest, remember, a holy, righteous priest that served the Jerusalem temple, sees him, going, and he's going away from the city, so he's not in a hurry for religious duties. And, is, and the priest sees him as like, yeah, not my problem. The Levite, uh, a religious functionary, another one of our holy temple servants, again, going away from Jerusalem. There's no hurry. Sees the guy, yuck. Doesn't want anything to do with him. Ew, a Samaritan shows up. Oh no. Here, let me help you. Gets him to safety. All the while, there's no guarantee the Samaritan won't be beat, mugged and beaten up and left for dead right alongside the guy. At his own expense, takes care of him. The first day, the oil and wine isn't cheap. He's losing time over business deal, whatever business he's on, he's, time is money, he's wasting it. Takes him to an end, spends the whole day taking care of him. Pays the guy, saying, okay, look after him. I'll pay you at any expense when I get back. And take him for me a ride. Take me for a ride. Overcharge. Okay, just take care of him. Now, Jesus says, go and do likewise. That The Samaritan was the neighbor to the guy who got beaten up. That's how you earn heaven. Now, acting like that Samaritan did, if that's like... Our member of our family, our, our best friend, sure. A total stranger. Much less someone we can't stand. We can't do that. It's not humanly possible. And that's the point. We can't earn salvation. That's why it's given through Christ. And it's a double meaning. We in the parable are the person that's beaten up, helpless and hopeless. Jesus Christ is, is the Samaritan. At great cost to himself, he comes to rescue us. He comes to forgive us. And he comes to make us his children. So that participating in the sacramental life, one day we'll at least get, get able to be close to what the Samaritan in the parable is like. We're not earning salvation. It's not God as a bean counter who's writing down everything we do. Rather, we're working with God. And Jesus isn't just a Savior who forgives. Now, he is a Savior who forgives, don't get me wrong, and he pulls us further and further out of the darkness into his glorious light. We're like him. And we cannot do this on our own. We only do it through and with him. Hence, 
Pretension ourselves the sacramental life of the church. Salvation is not earned, it's given. And salvation isn't just a suit of armor against God's wrath. It's being made more like him. Thank God that he's come for us on this rescue mission. Let us close with prayer. Lord, help us to sincerely repent. Help us to sincerely be humble. And help us, Lord, to sincerely love. Amen.